Hi, welcome to another video. So, a new AI coder has just dropped. This one is called Crush. Now, this has a bit of a background. This is the new version of the original OpenCode. It's by the main original developer of OpenCode, who joined Charm, and now it is called Crush. It's basically revamped. It is fully based on Go, which means that you'll find it to be pretty fast. They say that it's your new coding bestie, now available in your favorite terminal. It is multi-model supported and allows you to use all kinds of models. I don't think it allows you to use the Claude Max subscription like open code, which can be a bummer for some. However, it is flexible and allows you to switch LLMs mid-session while preserving context. It also allows you to maintain multiple work sessions and contexts per project. It also uses LSPs for additional context. This means that it will know when there's a code error, a linter error, or something along those lines as well. You can also add capabilities to it via MCPs. It also works on all kinds of OS, which is awesome, as many of them still don't work well on Windows. But this is natively supported, which is awesome. Now, let me show you how you can use it as well. But first, let's talk about today's sponsor, Dart. Tired of juggling tasks across different tools? Dart combines traditional project management with powerful AI features that actually get work done. Beyond organizing tasks and boards, Dart's AI can brainstorm project ideas, generate task lists, and even complete entire assignments for you. Their composer-like AI agent understands your full project context, so you can simply chat with it to create, edit, or delete tasks naturally. The real game changer is the custom agents. You can create custom agents that trigger from the built-in integrations or a N8N workflow or custom webhook for full customization. You can create a coding agent that pushes pull requests to GitHub, a marketing agent for campaigns, or a mailing agent for outreach. Then, just assign tasks and watch them get completed automatically. Plus, Dart integrates seamlessly with your existing workflow through their MCP server, connecting directly to Claude, ChatGPT, and other AI tools you're already using. Most features are completely free, with premium options starting at just $8 per month. Check out Dart through the link in the description. It might just transform how you work. Now, back to the video. First of all, you'd have to get it installed. You can do it easily with Homebrew, NPM, or with the Go Package Manager as well. Now, once it has been installed, you can run it with the crush command, and it will get started. First, it will ask you to select a model. You can choose any. I have been using the Quen 3 coder free variant via Open Router, which is also listed here, and it works amazingly well for me, and it's free. So, I use that here. Then, enter your API key, and it will ask you if you want to initialize a charm markdown file, which is basically a summary for your project, similar to the Claude MD files. So, that is kind of cool. Now let's talk about the UI first. I think that it looks better than open code and Claude code as well. I don't know, but I like a bit more colorful options. And I think that the UI of this is much more lifelike compared to other options. But that's subjective. But it's not just the UI, because there are things that also feel much more cohesive. For example, the terminal resize works amazingly well here. I can make it big or small, and it snaps in the right place automatically, which is something that I do a lot. Open code especially sucks at this part because half of the stuff gets lost when I resize. Now, it's not just about that, because you can also see that the UI of this is also a lot more cohesive. So, let's get into the next parts where you'll automatically see it. So, here. Slash is made for referencing files and not commands. So, you can hit the slash command here, and it will show you the files that you can reference, which is pretty awesome. For commands, you can hit Ctrl plus P, and it will show you the options or settings of Crush. First option is the option to create a new session. This creates a new thread, and you can also call this with the Control plus N shortcut. Secondly, 
there's the switch session option as well, and then there's the switch model option. Here, you can switch the model quite easily. You can see that this model choosing interface also looks quite good. I also prefer this model toggle over open code. There's also the option to initialize a project, which basically creates the markdown file for you. Now, that is the major functionality. This does lack a good amount of features, like there's no custom slash commands or agents, as well as there's no option of plan mode or just chat mode. There's also no option for undo or redo or stuff like that. So, it's early, and I think that these capabilities will be added pretty rapidly. It also doesn't have the option to use Claude's subscription. Now let me show you how you can use it as well. I'm going to ask it to make me a Flappy Bird game here using HTML, CSS, and JS. Now, it will go ahead and do the stuff for me. It is pretty snappy. And you can see that when it asks me for approval, it shows a modal-like thing. And I prefer this a lot over what Open Code or Claude Code has, which is almost very clunky. So, this is great for me. When it shows bigger lines of code, then it also allows you to scroll through the diff with arrow keys. In a bit, it gets done. And if I run this, then this works well without many issues. I also tested it on my tests, and with Claude Sonnet, it's the same as Claude Code, whereas with Quen, it is also the same as Claude while being free, because I tested it with the Sonnet endpoint. Just for context, even Quen's own CLI is not as good as this, which is interesting to see. It's really good. The terminal interface is woven together really nicely. Open Code and Claude Code both have the issue where, if you have a terminal interface that is zoomed in, then it doesn't work correctly. It is because their layout is not set in the viewport, and the inner blocks are not correctly calibrated according to that. But this is awesome in that sense. Plus, it also has a character to it, which I prefer, and I think that it doesn't have some features. But still, based on this initial usage, I will be using it as my main CLI now. Yes, I am finding it amazing. I see that it is also a bit faster than open code. I prefer Go myself as well. I think that this is what something like Gemini CLI could have been, since it is anyway based on Go. But they opted for TypeScript, which doesn't make sense to me. But this is awesome. It's a minimal UI with great features and it's super fast. I think that I prefer this over open code and Claude code for now. It's really good. The scrolling and things don't work well in other options, but here it is awesome. Probably one of the best cooked terminal interfaces. I really like this. It's open source and everything. So there's not much to complain about here. Go ahead and give this a try for sure. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.